opera, just say the word and glittering halls come to mind, La Scala or the Met, and a gentleman in black tie and elegant ladies bejeweled and a velvet curtain rising. Well, Eugenia Zuckerman is about to take us to a different but no less inspiring setting and to a different but no less appreciative audience. This is Opera on the Farm. I love creating theater in unexpected places. I've always liked uh, finding drama where you don't usually expect to find it. to rural communities and present an opera and 1700 people are hearing an opera for the first time and they stand and applaud and cheer and cry and laugh all in the right places something is right something is very right let's try it one more time uh, this is at number four everybody five board houses something was very right and unique when conductor Murray Sidlin and director Vern Sutton of the University of Minnesota School of Music presented Aaron Copland's rarely performed opera, The Tender Land. This summer, The Tender Land toured working farms in Minnesota and the Dakotas. Farmhouses were the sets, the land and sky the backdrops. Local farmers and townspeople were cast in the chorus. The tour brought the tender land as close, perhaps, as it will ever come to Copeland's original intent. Aaron Copeland did not want the tender land to be a big operatic production. He wanted it to tell a simple story and to have a simple musical style. He wanted it also to be easy to perform and easy to stage. Imagination is no longer an issue. You don't have to create the set inside your head. Once I thought I'd never grow tall as this fence. Elizabeth Collins Smith plays Laurie a young farm girl on the eve of her high school graduation. April came and August went before I knew It's just all right here, and you can really count on the audience's imagination to be there, too, because really it's their own reality. But sometimes, don't you ever wish that you could get away, that you could leave us all behind for just a summer's day? Set in the 1930s, the Tender Land is the story of a farm family and the choices they face. If only I'd had the chances you've had. Grandpa loves me, but he doesn't understand. Caught between her fear of isolation and her love of the land, Laurie decides to leave home, a choice her mother did not make when she was young. But you couldn't make him understand what you yourself don't understand. What I do, I do. You don't, you don't. How could you when you've never had your own life? <gasps> I'm sorry. Please, Laurie, don't upset your grandpa tonight. He owes for just tonight and tomorrow. Well, it brought tears to my eyes uh, several times through 
Lou Schaefer owns the Minnesota farm at Red Lakes Falls where the Tenderland tour stopped for a night. A chilly, rainy night that would have kept a less hardy audience indoors. Glory, my graduation girl. It's all things that, that I've seen myself or seen other people go through. Uh, so in many ways it's been the life that I've lived and others around here. I was really amazed at the number of people. Uh, we must say had 12, 1,300 people. The weather conditions were just barely adequate, really, for this type of... George music. French is the director of musical theater at the nearby branch of the University of Minnesota. We've been planning this event for close to a year. And it basically it had been raining the entire day and we were on the verge of just deciding that it was going to be at the high school. Ladies making matches, playing games, romping, frisking, winking, whistling, raising families. And we decided to give it one last shot and come back out to the farm. And then as soon as we filled up the bleachers with well over a thousand people, we realized that we were committed. This is going on at the farm, rain or shine or whatever. Shall we gather by the river Where bright angels' feet have trod With We've added some entertainment, as is often the case in a celebration in opera. Conductor Murray Sidlin. So there are some old American folk songs that Copeland has set, and we add those to the celebration, and one of them is At the River, this wonderful revivalist hymn that is just so beautiful. Yes, we'll gather by the river, the beautiful, the beautiful Aaron Copeland would have been absolutely thrilled at the kind of production that's going on now of the Tenderland. Musical historian and Copeland biographer Vivian Perlis. He did care a great deal about reaching people. Whatever uh, person, whatever part of the population he uh, was um, aiming toward um, uh, in his music, he cared a great deal. I still think that Aaron Copeland is sort of the best that we have in terms of a composer who best illuminates the American spirit in music. And I thought that this opera and that philosophy belongs out in a lot of rural areas. It's only natural that children look to their parents for answers. So to help you explain why some things that may be fine for adults aren't right for children, Anheuser-Busch offers Family Talk, free advice from professionals to use with your kids while they're still learning to be grown up. And their favorite teacher is you. Let's stop underage drinking before it starts. Real estate companies love to hear themselves talk about being number one in this and number one in that. Meanwhile, Coldwell Banker agents are quietly earning the trust of home buyers and sellers. In fact, nine out of ten Coldwell Banker customers are so satisfied with our service, they'd recommend us to a friend. We didn't say that. They did. Coldwell Banker. Expect the best. Okay, Jane, he'll be ready at eight. 
Thanks, Mom. Most moms don't have a lot of time in the morning, but all it takes is a moment to let them know you love them. All it takes is a moment to make them instant Quaker oatmeal instead of cold cereal. Here you go. Thanks, Mom. Whole grain, whole oat, hot nutrition, a moment of your time that makes a difference all morning. Instant Quaker oatmeal instead of cold cereal. Thanks, Mom. For moms who have a lot of love, but not a lot of time. So frustrating. I don't know why we can't get the receptor to come down. Are you done with Most that? people think we make medicines. Actually, our job is to find them. I'm going to lunch. You coming? No, I want to get this gel running. I'll see you okay. down there then. On the brink of discovery, Glaxo.